Spielberg's. Um, I, let's just start with Ernie. I mean, the film, the yeah. set is entirely made out of cardboard. I mean, almost <laughs> entirely. Uh, yeah. How the heck did you do that? And everyone listening, please go watch this film as soon as you hear Hadley talk about it, because it is just such an achievement. How old were you, like 20? Yeah, when it when it came out, I was like, what is that? Yeah, 20. Yeah, yeah, 20, maybe 21. How did you build that thing? And, and, and how did you have the vision for that? Well, the stupid thing is that I, we shot part of that when we were 18. So it's or when I was 18. So like all of us were 18, like the whole team was 18. And then we waited three years and I went to school and found a bunch of people. But like, yeah, the building of that and all that was like, was, was when I was just done with high school and like how I did it. I mean, uh, I mean the, how I did it was like a product of, of why I did it, which was just that we literally had no money and there was no, there was no, way that we were going to be able to actually find a real apartment building unless it was in like a condemned building but even then like there just wasn't going to work to do this setup of cutting a hole like a hole in the floor of an apartment building and like we we're just we just had no way to do it and it was like from a production point of view i like remember sitting on my like porch at my house in seattle and just being like how is this story going to work and it was like basically we need to build this because we can't find it and we can't change the story because it has to be through the floor and it has to be like two worlds that are like you know, this old man's world and this young boy's life and how they connect through this like one little portal between them. I guess I love a portal is what it sounds like from all this talk. <laughs> I love a portal between worlds. But um but yeah, it's like it basically was like, okay, what's the cheapest way I can build something? And it was cardboard because it was free. Um and you can get it from recycling centers and like I dove into dumpsters and like I would go with friends, I'd go with my dad and I would like jump in a big industrial dumpster and they would chase us out and I would come back like late after hours when they close and I'd throw a bunch of stuff and be like, I found some great stuff in here today. Like we'd fill the car with it. We'd like be like, go, go, go. And we saw people coming. It was like, you know, you go to like these appliance places and like yep. find mom and pop places because Home Depot breaks down all their boxes like during the day because there's too many. So you find the mom and pop places that sell washers and don't do that and have a little recycling yard in the back and you take all that. Uh, and then we just built it and it was like a wood frame with these kind of cardboard pieces. And like, I think at our peak, it was like, there were like 20 family friends that were there just like stapling boxes. And like, it was, it was like the craziest community effort of just like finishing this set in time for this thing to happen. It was like one of the most magical things ever. Cause like everyone brought an artistry to it that just like was so lovely. And like some of the stuff in there, like my mom made that like, a little cassette player out of cardboard that like is so intricate. Like I think it took her like seven hours to make or eight hours. Like, I mean, I had the support of like amazing parents through all of this, but yeah, that was how we did it. It was like, it was just a, it was just, I called everyone. I said, we have no money and we have a very cheap material or free material, but we need like labor and artistry from people. Can you, can you come and do it? And people showed up and I think they were excited by just the prospect of, of making that like, building that world with their hands and having it feel so handmade, you know? 